guys, it's your girl Heart. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be cooking pasta, pasta uh, that we got from the supermarket actually. And it's going to be... Wait, where else did you get pasta from? <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to be cooking all by myself. So yeah, and make sure you go click that subscribe button right now <laughs> and yeah let's get started <laughs> you're so cute all right let's go guys Hey guys, hello friends. I haven't been on the vlog all day. I've been so busy this week because I just had so much on my to-do list in order to get me and the kids ready to go to Maryland for Jalen's baby shower on Saturday because it'll be Friday and today's Wednesday. So now I only have one free day left to do things. And I just been trying to do things so smooth as possible. That's why you guys haven't seen me much. Um I just been like literally overwhelmed. I feel like I cannot breathe. But all day after Harper cooked lunch for us, um, been on the computer making sure she was caught up on the schoolwork so that we don't have to worry about that since we'll be on the road Friday morning. I need to pack for me and the kids for this weekend. I need to do my hair. I need to do my nails. I still need to go to the store. Just a lot. So it's like prioritizing what should be done first in order for me to be able to leave and not have to worry about anything this weekend. So yeah, that's kind of where my mind is. So I'm sorry I haven't been on the vlog so far. I mean, I don't know why I'm apologizing because I mean, it's nothing really like I can do about it, right? I got these little circles in the middle. Or they from Amazon. There's plastic on them. That's why it looks like filmy. Um, I got these because I'm going to make a like custom gift tag for Jalen's gift for the baby shower. Um, so me and Steph got her her whole entire travel system. So I have all of that in my house. I because I have to go get the rental on Friday. So I'm going to pack the car with her gift, Enzo's stroller, put Enzo's car seat. Because we have to get a rental, one, because we need more trunk space. Because two big strollers wouldn't fit in my car or her car. Um, so it is what it is.
Good morning, guys. Today is Friday. Is it Friday? It's Friday morning. Um, they, why are you trying to jump in the camera? It's Friday morning. It is March 25th. Um, it's 10:19. Not hectic, but I feel overwhelmed because I'm such a control freak. I just like to be super organized, but it is what it is. I'm just going with the flow. Today's gonna be a beautiful day. It's gonna have a great weekend, have a great time. But um, I'm currently waiting for stuff to get to my house. Enzo has made his way to the chat. Say hi. Say good morning. Say good morning. Um. So yeah, we had to load the car up and stuff, and we'll probably just grab something small to eat because I'm starving. I was like starving in my sleep, um, but I just wanted to check in with you guys because I didn't finish vlogging yesterday. I just had so much to do. Like it took me way longer to pack than expected. It literally took me probably like three hours. Um, <laughs> what you mean? Cause you're the only one out in the camera. You're so phony. Okay, I'm gonna go get myself dressed and get Enzo dressed. I already got her dressed this morning. Um, I just finished my hair. So I will check in with you guys while we're in the car and everybody's settled. Because as you can see, we're not morning people, right? We're not morning people. I know. Say bye. Say bye. Ow, that's my hair. Say bye. You don't want to say bye to them? That's so rude. They love you. Say bye. Well, I love my friends, so I'll say bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the Valigity Vlog. We currently are on our fruit trip with my friends. You want to be in it a little more? Because you can't really see you. There you go. Yeah, you can see both of us. Um, Hi, guys. There's Harvey Harp. Harvey, you got your seatbelt on back there? Oh, yeah, you don't remember. Do. Good girl. Um, so we're currently on our road trip. We're only like 20 minutes in. But... We're just chit-chatting about how we want to go to Carbone. So we're trying to get reservations even though it's always booked. So if anybody can give me some reservations, hit me up. Let me know what the vibes are. What Next availability is April 24th at 10.45 p.m. Yeah, that's late. Who eats dinner at 10.45? That's in Miami? Mm -hmm. Why are we doing reservations in Miami? <laughs> to eat and come back. Literally. Look at these people. Enzo dropped his sippy cup. They pushed it even further. My stomach hurts. Oh my god. It is dripping. Mom, um, are we there yet? <laughs> it is dripping. I'm yawning. Thank you, Harpy. Thank you, Steffi. We arrived in Maryland. Get into this lighting. So cute. So good. Um, So we arrived. We just checked into our hotel. We're about to go grab some lunch because I'm starving. I haven't <laughs> ate anything since yesterday. I'm dying. Enzo just crawled into the bathroom. But I'm gonna give you guys like a quick little room tour just in case you guys ever, you know, traveling or whatever. Here's the guy. The guy is down here. Um, so we're staying at the hotel at the University of Maryland. And that's because we didn't want to stay all the way in DC because it was too far from where the baby shower in Bay lives. Um, and I hate to say it, I hope I don't sound crazy, but I'm a hotel snob. So. We had to stay here. So she's like 20 to 30 minutes away from everything, but that's okay. I'm willing to make that drive daily to be comfortable. So this hotel is really, really beautiful. You could tell it's on somebody's campus. Like it's a lot of like executive rooms and stuff like that. But I'm gonna just give you guys like a quick little tour. So please hold, let me flip the camera. So like when you come in the door, obviously there is a mirror right here, um, coffee station. I'm guessing that's the fridge, I don't know. And then you have the bathroom. So she looks like this. Yet another mirror, towels, the guy is coming, toilet room, somebody's art in there. I love wallpaper like this, this like texture, oh my god. Um, and then shower right here, which is fine because Enzo could just shower with me. Then we have another mirror right here. I just have on my Pangaea sweatsuit yet again, some dad socks, uh, my new balances, 2002 R's, I believe they're called. I have on a Skims tank and I just have my sweatshirt knotted around me and I have on my Desi sunglasses, of course. Look at this guy, excuse you. I know you was just trapped in the car seat for two hours, but you hitting the lid, guy. What? Enzo. Enzo. Oh, you standing up to poop? Mm, perfect timing, guy. And this is what the room looks like. That bed's a little messed up because Angela this was sitting on it. But it's just super pretty, super plain, super modern. Love the big windows. And I love all the mirrors everywhere because I'm living my best life. But this lighting, though, look at the view of the campus. So stink pretty. 
Oh no. Oh no, Lobby. Hey guys, so we're in the hotel. We just got back from uh my Jalen's house, um and stuff. We tried to do some stuff for the baby shower, and now we're getting home, getting ready for bed. And I was playing for a little while while he's about to go to bed. So, yeah, we're just getting ready, kind of, like, cleaning up a bit. So, when we wake up, we got everything ready. And so, sorry about that, guys. But, like, let me get everything ready. All right, so, it's, like, 11.24 at night, as you can see. Yeah, I know, you're sleepy. Uh, we're all going to bed. We just showered. So, we're going to call it a night. <laughs> We're gonna call it a night. Harper sleeping with Snap and just gonna sleep in the crib. Um, and we will see you guys tomorrow for the festivities. <laughs> Say good night. Say good night, guys. I gotta put you to bed because you're going crazy. Hey guys, it is Saturday. It's 12:21, so it's basically 12:30. Um, we're currently in the car. Oh, I just hurt myself. I don't know if you guys can see all the junk that's in the back, but. We're almost at that part of the trip where the truck is gonna get cleared out. We're at Shell right now getting gas because gas was three fifty nine. So we stopped to get gas to fill the tank up because we been driving around. It filled up that quick? Not yet. Oh my god. That's it. That was quick. Um. Yeah. So we was like, we might as well get gas right here where it's cheap. We're in College Park, Maryland right now. Then to you know try to get some in Delaware or something. But yeah, we're about to head to like the area where the baby shower is because it is a little bit of a ways from us at the hotel. So we're just gonna head there and then um find a target or something. But we're also letting Enzo nap That's anyways. 479 because I paid with a car. Okay. But that was good. $36 and like now you're back on full. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're gonna drive to Annapolis and then I don't know, I'll check in with you guys. I pretty much have my makeup and my hair done and all my jewelry on. So I can just throw my dress on because it's white and it's cold outside. So yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Damn this car. Hey, slow down, sis. Slow down. Um, let me put the GPS on. 35 minutes, 28 miles. That's a lot of moving. A lot of. You gotta make a new turn, sis. A lot of moving out. Milk and honey, cafe, coffee, and cake. Mm -hmm. mm, they probably have good breakfast food. But, all right, we're gonna drive. I will check in with you guys when we're in. I'm trying to be a good vlog. I just feel like there's so much going on, I can't vlog. But now I feel like this vlog is gonna be BS compared to last week's vlog. Because apparently you guys loved last week's vlog, but I think you guys were just telling me that because you guys wanted to win the giveaway prize. That's just my assumptions. So, 
Yeah, we're gonna drive. Enzo is knocked out. Let me show you guys. He literally fell asleep before we even left the garage at the car. Like, he is slumped. He was so tired. That's why we were, like, rushing, trying to get out the house. Hey guys, it's Sunday. I haven't vlogged <gasps> all day. Yesterday I didn't vlog much because it was just so much going on. I also said a baby shower. <laughs> How am I supposed to know if people want to be on my YouTube channel? So I didn't vlog that type of stuff. We're just woke up from a net. We're watching Baby Shark. Um, and I was so tired today. We woke up at like 8 a.m. Took an early morning nap together. Ooh, um, I like unpacked and cleaned up everything. And then we just took his second nip of the day and I just lay here. I have a headache. Like, I'm, like, exhausted. Just him, like, being on the go the last couple of days. So, I... <laughs> you want to say hello? Say hello. You cannot kiss the camera. <laughs> Dude, what's wrong with you? You're in a kissing mood, huh? You just was over here attacking me. <laughs> It is crazy. He just was biting my nose, sucking on my nose, sucking on my cheek, kissing me in the mouth. Like, look at him. What's wrong with you today? Hold on. Not you kissing and licking the camera, though. Are you serious right now? But yeah, it's Sunday. Ideally, I would edit, but my head is killing me. So we're just going to turn this into a two-week vlog, and we'll start fresh for April 1st because I do have content for the whole month of April. So I'm looking forward to that. Let me move you guys over here. Um, so yeah, I'm just not really in the mood to edit. I just feel like I need to relax. I also have like, stuff to do tomorrow, stuff to do Tuesday. I need to go to a couple stores next week. Um, there's a lot of like things on my to-do list, so, um, but yeah, Jay's baby shower was so beautiful. Oh my gosh, Enzo wants to give y'all a kiss. Go ahead, give him a kiss. Mwah. <laughs> Bro, you gotta chill. She's having a baby boy. Her little reaction was priceless because she really wanted the girl. Um, but super super cute. We had a really great time. It was so, it was so nice to like celebrate her. Uh, oh, excuse me. Shower the baby, baby to be. Um, so I really had a good time. I'm excited that she's having a boy though because now Enzo is gonna have a forever friend. Enzo is gonna be um, like maybe nine months oh. older than the baby, so they'll be super super close in age. I'll check in with you guys tomorrow with the vibes. You know, I'm gonna go do laundry. And prepare for the week and stuff. So we will see you guys tomorrow. Right, Bear? Right, guy? Right, guy? We will see you then tomorrow. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye, fat man. Bye-bye, fat man. Oh, my gosh. Not this battery being on one little blockity block thing. Hey, guys. I guess I'm going to just talk until the camera dies, though. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is... What's today? Monday. It is 11.14. I'm already so tired today. I've been up since like 8 o'clock this morning. But right now I'm on my way to the dermatologist per usual. This is, I swear that's the only reason I go outside. But I'm on my way to the... Oh, and laser. 
I'm on my way to the dermatologist to get another steroid injection into my scar. I think the last one worked, so I'm gonna try one more and see what the results are hitting like, like I told you guys last night, and then kind of explore the option if, I, if it still like really bothers me. But for real, for real, I'm at a point in my life where I'm just kind of like, Asia, you have a scar on your chest, it is what it is, you know? Um, well, let me pause my music. So, yeah, that's currently what I'm going to do. Why is there traffic at 11 a.m. on the expressway? It's so cold outside. It's literally 31 degrees. Just five days ago, it was 74 degrees. And now we're back in the 30s. When I tell you I'm waking in my boots right now, like I'm shivering. I have a coat with me and everything, so I'm that cold. Um... I'm also a little bit colder because I didn't eat anything today, so, <sighs> yeah, you know, same old, same old, why is the high beams on my bed, y'all, my bed, <laughs> I ain't gonna was on, um, not me catching up to this car that, like, literally passed me an hour ago, but anyway, so you're back, now we gotta get over it, why is there so many cars outside, hurry, <gasps> Is my appointment at 11.30? Oh my gosh. Please hold. Please hold. Am I running late? Me of all people? No. I don't run late. Putting it's definitely at 11.30. I got a 15 minute grace period. So y'all gotta move. Y'all gotta get out the way. Thank you so much, sir, for letting me over. Because the rest of these people are rude. Hello, friends. Today is Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. I am leaving the dealership. I'm on my way home. I had to get the car. What in the hell? Whoa, 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 whoa. I had to get the car serviced. Um, having a car is a scam. I don't even want to tell you guys how much I just freaking paid them, but whatever. Whatever. Like, you know, it's so funny because I was talking to my little sister about this. Being an adult sucks. Stay a kid. Like, when I was younger, I was in this big old rush to be grown, yada, 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 doing stuff I had no business doing. And now I'm an adult. I do not recommend. I don't recommend it. It's ghetto. It's just, it's not for me, you know? I'm starving. The appointment was for 10.30. I got here at 10.33 in the morning. It is 12.27 and I'm just now leaving. I'm pretty sure the guy that was like helping me did it to be smart because he was he was a D-I-C-K. I don't want to say in case one of y'all got your kids around but he was a D-I-C-K and if this clock would have hit 1 p.m. I would have had some words for him like what's the point of making an appointment if I'm gonna be there all day and it's not they didn't even take the car in any time during my appointment that's how I know they a scam because so I brought the car in at 10 30 on time I mean I was three minutes late but still the car didn't go in until like 11.45 because I was out walking around the lot looking at cars um, because I've been going back and forth in my head like what kind of car I want and at the end of the day, for me, I can't get any car that I want because I have to take into consideration that I have a car seat, obviously. Damn, I was supposed to be with air. I hate the new GPS, um, but yeah like i have to take into consideration that enzo's car seat is big like it, it'd be different if enzo was older and he was in the booster seat because the booster seat doesn't require any room the rear facing um car seats that could be used uh, for a while or even infant car seats like you need good back space space you need a good amount of space in your back seat so that the seat fits but then also taking into consideration your passenger seat because like any car seat could fit in your back seat but then like you'll have the issue of your passenger seat being like people's knees on the dashboard seat sitting up straight you know what i'm saying so like parenting it that way is a whole different devil and then you also have to take into consideration trunk space for strollers groceries yada 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 like it's not as simple as saying i want a coupe i want this car i want that car like everywhere every time i go to a lot i'm in i'm literally sitting in the back seat i don't ever touch the front i mean i sit in the front but i'd be like all right whatever it's nice but like i always sit in the front seat i take heart with me i'm like heart do you like the back seat do you feel like you like how much space is there uh, how much space is back here and then asking like and then like looking at the trunk space to see if it's good for my stuff because you guys know i like to shop like once i had a truck 
I could never go back to a car because like I like to shop and I like to shop all day and I like to go to like places like IKEA and Home Goods and all of a sudden come home with the mirror that I didn't need. I need trunk space. I need to be able to put my seats down and stuff like that. Like I, I can't do a car. And I also after driving high off the ground, when I'm in a car, I get like antsy, like just being so low to the ground and like I'd be like, oh my gosh, like the car is gonna go under a truck vibes, you know? So yeah, this was walking around Jeep while they fixed the car to see what the vibes were hitting for. Because when we had that rental over the weekend, it was a Grand Cherokee L. I did really, really, really like it. Um, it basically is a Grand Cherokee, but bigger. And I like the Grand Cherokee. Um, it's a really nice mom car. It's not doing too much. For me, I would love to get the new Range Rover because that's originally what I was gonna get. Um, but... <laughs> I think I need to let Enzo just maybe turn like two, three years old before I do that. Like Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds to So as you guys can see, we went to Target this morning. Ignore all the laundry behind me. I'm gonna get around to it. I have like two more loads to do. So I figured I might as well just fold everything all at one time. Um, but I went to Target because I just needed a little bit of a self-care day. I'm not gonna lie. A lot has been going on mentally, emotionally in my life. I'm being tested. And I just was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to Target. I'm not gonna worry about how much I spend because F that check. I'm going to make that S-H-I-T right back vibes. So that's what we did this morning. Um, definitely spent more than what I had in my mind, even though I didn't have a list. But it's whatever. So I just got a few things for me that I couldn't resist. And then I also just got stuff for vacation so that I don't ever have to go back to Target. Um, I got two new suitcases. Never seen these colors before. Love them. Had to buy them. There was only one of each. So I was like, this is a sign why are you climbing me <laughs> um so i got the carry-on size and the um checked luggage size so yeah i got two new suitcases no reason other than i don't know i've always had enough suitcases but now the ends was in the mix i was like maybe i need some more and then i was like maybe i should get the whole set so that happened so i only have two bags though from target <laughs> Um, I only have two bags. I don't have a lot of stuff. So the first thing I got are reusable swim diapers for Enzo. Ow! I got these in two sizes. Because I didn't know what size he needed. I got the six months and the 12 months. I think the six months fits him better. Um, because they're supposed to fit snug. So that nothing comes out of them. But I picked those up. I also picked up the exact same sweatsuit I have on in black. I tried her on to make sure that she, I liked her. But I love this wild and fable sweatsuit. I wear it all the time. It's so comfortable. I think I probably wear it two days in a row this week. I don't care. Don't come for me. But I picked up the black. I picked up my sweatpants in a small. And then I picked up my sweatshirt in an extra, extra large or XL. Just so it fits like very cool girl vibes. Like baggy on the top. Tight down the bottom. But even the small is still kind of big. Um... So, I got that in black because I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing me in gray. Kind of low-key. I'm tired of seeing me in gray, but I love it so much. But, yeah. For Harp, I picked up these two slides because she doesn't have any sandals for vacation. Um, and I don't want to get her anything that her feet are going to hurt. So, she usually just wears her Crocs. But I saw these and I thought these were cute. They're like little Birkenstocks, but they're not Birkenstocks. Um, they're from Cat and Jet. I picked up the pink ones and I also picked her up. These little tie-dye ones for her to just rip and run. They'll probably be her new shoes for summer because she just, she is like all about comfort like me. I also picked up the um, Dapple Baby Bottle and Dish Soap. Did I need this? Probably not. Did it probably cost an arm and a leg? I'm sure it did. Um, but I got this so that I could take them in my suitcase as a travel uh, carry-on. You know, so it's small, so I can wash his cups, um, his sippy cups and stuff. So I brought some soap because I also already have like a tribal brush cleaner and stuff and a drying rack from Boone. Um, and then I got the tribal Johnson & Johnson head to toe 
wash and shampoo and baby lotion. I don't know why my brain is blanking today, but please just bear with me. I feel like I'm tired. Then I also picked up these command hooks. You guys know I bought like the whole little device thing off of Amazon. I never screwed it into the wall because it needed like anchors and stuff. So that was a waste of like $20. But I saw these and I was like, maybe I'll give these a go. This was $8.99 and I got to do them. I don't know why they're so expensive but i'm gonna try these out to make the brooms and mop and stuff hang in the laundry room i got some purell wipes you guys know wipe everything down um i got some bar soap i don't know why got another one of these um and then i just got like a whole bunch of travel necessities because again i don't want to go back to target i'm targeted out after this trip like mm, it's bad did i mean to get this no but i was being responsible in the travel size aisle and my brain didn't click that i had this and i also bought this my last target trip a few weeks ago this is exactly why target gets me so now we just have a bunch of carry-on size johnson johnson whatever we move i then saw they sold native in mini bottles you guys know i just die for anything that's mini I didn't see the mini methods this time and I was highly upset about it. <laughs> but it's okay. This is a cucumber mint. Oh, she smelled. <laughs> you thought that was funny? Are you laughing at me? Why would you laugh at me here? I would give you this, but you probably can't even trust it. Yeah, I know, right? Um, So I got this shampoo and conditioner. It smells so good. Mmm, cucumber. I then got the black girl sunscreen for kids for Harp and my little sister. I got the regular black girl sunscreen for me. Is it going to focus? Um, I've heard great things about this stuff. So I picked it up. I also picked up the herbal essences. Herbal essence. <laughs> Rose hip shampoo and conditioner. I just got this because this like these shampoos are very nostalgic for me. Oh my stars! Oh my stars! I got a mini gel because I already had one, so I just picked up another one of these. And then I got the sun bum thing because this they always have it in hotels and it costs an arm and a leg, even though it's an arm and a leg in Target. But I guess it makes me feel better because it's like a Target experience out the way. Um, and then I got too many hand sanitizers. I'm pretty sure I got 50 of them, but I bought two more. And then I saw this, this native um, coconut and pineapple sunscreen with zinc oxide. It's SPF 30, and she smells so good. I opened it, by the way. She smells so nice. And I just am a sucker for native packaging. Um, you guys know, I have a shampoo. Can I finish? Ooh, you so loud. You know I'm noise sensitive. Ugh. Say what's up. Say what's up. What's up? Not what's up. What's up? Um, so yeah, I picked up the native one. She was expensive, but I'm excited to try her. I'm probably not gonna like her because she's not a spray, she's a rub on one. But she's cute for the aesthetic of like a flat lay photo, you know, like with the sunbum vibes and the black girl magic it's giving oh that's not the black girl it's giving very much variety in a photo um usually i would always buy all the sun bum stuff because i just thought it looked so nice in photos and i still think that but apparently sun bum is not even good products allegedly allegedly whatever take that with a grain of salt um so yeah but i just prefer this spray on ones and i need to get tanning oil but I think I have some. All right, so the giveaway winner is going to win this little black box of goodies right here. I have to finish doing like the bow and all of that jazz. But she is a magnetic open box, closure box. So the giveaway winner is going to get ready. One, two, three. Are you guys excited about this giveaway prize? Yeah, I know. Wait till we hit 100K. Oh my gosh. See, every time I need the camera to focus, just never wants to. <laughs> I really 
and nuts. Um, is she gonna stay? I think she's gonna stay like this. Okay, but yeah, so put everything in this gift box for you guys. Um, just super pretty, vibey. And so just being his own little world. But yeah, so I'm gonna make it super beautiful for when you receive it, like a little Christmas day, birthday day present, whatever the vibes are. So as you guys can see, you guys are gonna get whoever the winner is, a pair of Desi sunglasses. I believe I got the stone ones if I'm right, right? But you guys are gonna get a pair of this stone backtrack. Cause I just feel like everybody that comes and watches my vlogs they always comment on the back tracks um and i know even though like for me they're considered affordable the idea of what's affordable is different and it varies from person to person so even though it's affordable for me to someone else it could be high end and luxe oh my goodness you are so bad yeah but i know the idea of affordable and high end is different from person to person so I got those because I think it's like something that's like a signature item of mine that is consistent in every single video. And then you're also going to get something from St. Laurent. Um, just like a little beginner designer item because again, I just feel like every girl deserves like at least one designer thing. And this was actually one of my first designer items that I had that I bought myself. Um, but the card holder that the winner is going to get is this traditional ysl one and it's like this beautiful charcoal gray you guys know i just love gray i was like damn i kind of want that for myself but you guys know i just bought the little wavy one so yeah you guys are gonna win this beautiful charcoal gray one so nice with gold harbor it's definitely a classic i literally have had my black one for I want to say like six years now all right so i brought harp in to do the giveaway winner with me um so let's see what it's hitting for i'm using some random website i found on google oh my god it's another one of those days where i look like i don't got an upper lip um but all right ready i just so dirty here but yeah <laughs> okay you have to press this button right here hold on wait let's load it up 298, 398, 498. Wait, so I'm telling the one. Huh? So what am I doing? Alright, you gotta press the start button. Yeah. Oh, wait, let me screen record it so they know we ain't cheating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, yeah? Alright, ready? Okay, now you can press start. Say, do, 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 do. Winner is Makisha Alicia. Uh, not Alicia. Is it Alicia? It might be Alicia. I don't know, sis. If I butchered that one, I'm sorry. Her comment was, sis, can I come eat with y'all? Laugh my ass off because y'all forever eating good. The Fendi shades and the Desi ones. Oh my God, I can't. Stop making me add things to my cart. Love the movie you dropped on us. Gave us all the feels. <laughs> all right, so let me go make sure this person, my homegirl, leaves positive comments on videos or maybe this is her first video watching i don't know but we're about to find out i'm so excited her she's someone that comments on a lot of videos so you guys um on youtube studio or even the website you could see someone's like comment history um i really wanted to make sure this gift went to somebody that is you know watches my all of gift our is so white <laughs> I really wanted this gift to go to someone that was just always on our channel and was so positive. And she literally, oh crap, watches so many of my videos. So I'm so happy about that. And all of her comments are always so sweet. I've replied to multiple ones of her. So I'm super excited for this to go to her. Um, hey guys, happy Friday. It's Friday. Um, it is currently 11.21 in the morning. Why am I outside this early? The world may never know. But Harp and I, we ditched Enzo because he fell asleep early for his morning nap. Like, rather than 12 o'clock, which was what I was aiming for for our outing, he fell asleep. So, he had to get ditched. Um, my little sister has him. So, me and Harp, well, Harp and I are headed to Target real quick. We have a few things on our list, like a little cleaner product um, and some other things that they didn't have at any of the Targets in Philly. So now we're driving to Jersey. And I just want to run into Zara. I don't need anything, but I want to go see what they have. And then I also um, just want to look at the bathing suits in H&M. Because I want like a high waist, not a high waist, like a mid waist bikini bottom. 
Is that what they're called? Because I was doing like vacation prep, like seeing what I have so I can see what I need to buy, what I need to order before it's too late to give myself some time, a little cushion to shop. And I was trying on my bikinis. And don't get me wrong, I'm very kind to myself about how I look. I had a baby. I'm not going to say I just had a baby because Enzo is no longer a newborn. He's an infant. Um, but I still had a baby recently, right? And I have a lot of bikinis. I have like a whole entire drawer dedicated to bathing suits. And pre-Enzo, my body was never a bikini body. Like it wasn't like snatched or anything. Like it wasn't given tone defined flat when I'm standing up and sitting like it wasn't giving that and I was okay with that like it is what it is you know I I can't be mad at it when I don't go to the gym I don't do no sit-ups I don't even eat healthy like you know so it is what it is though I wear a bikini I was comfortable I didn't care how the people felt about it because at the end of the day like what I wear doesn't do anything to you but I was like let me just try on everything because my weight has been fluctuating um and Let's just say your girl is not ready to be in a bikini. And that's obviously me just being overcritical of myself because it's me. Um, and just looking at who is calling me. I'm gonna wait. Um, just being overcritical of what I see, how I feel, stuff like that. And my body is not, ooh, 397 for some gas. Ooh, that's where I'm going. I got it. I'm gonna feel the thing over there. Um, it's just one of those things. I just was like, you know, I'm not ready to be in a bikini. And in order for me to enjoy my vacation, I feel like in order to enjoy yourself, you have to be very confident and like, like how you feel and all that stuff. Because I, I do directly think that how you look affects how you feel. So as you guys can see, I have on black today, switching it up. Very spicy of me, right? Um, I have on the black sweatsuit from Target that I love. That I hope they come out with in other colors. And, of course, my Desi bag tracks. And we also have to go to the post office to mail the giveaway prize. Because I cannot wait for her to get it. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much all this on our to-do list today. So, we're going to go to the mall. I'll bring you with us. Hopefully, it's eventful. Come hang out with us. Harvey, did you want to say hi? Did you want to say something? Hi, besties. Hi, besties. You don't call me your bestie. When, if it took you that long to answer, that means you know you don't. Um, we're best friends, huh? We're best friends. We're best friends forever. B F F L. So you know what that stands for? Yeah. What's that stand for? Best No, B. Well, B F F is best friend forever. B F F L is best friends for life. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna just hang out have a little girls day really quick. So I hope you guys are just talking. I think I'm gonna end this vlog today after today because It's getting kind of long and I'm the one that got edited like I just be filming for two weeks as if I'm not the one that got edited but oh. Hey guys, so we're now at the mall. We're in Zara. The line is crowded What? what you say? Uh, nothing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're at the mall. We're looking for some clothes for us, and um, we're just looking at stuff. But I just wanted to pop on here and say. You hi. just wanted to pop on here. Where you learned that? At? Hmm. Who told you that one? Yeah. I just wanted to pop on here. Go ahead. But,
kind of cover your goods. But like I was saying, it's 2.54. Um, I'm going to end this vlog here. <laughs> You're so excited to see them. Say hi, guys. I haven't seen you in a few days. Say hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? <laughs> um, oh, gosh. Look at this kid. Um, you can't go down because you're going to grab the camera. I'm going to end the vlog here this week. Just I will see you guys next week. Thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I need to wash my hair. It's getting a little oily. Um, but I will see you guys next week with the kids. Thank you guys for watching. Happy April Fool's Day. And you know the vibes. Um, I don't even look right in black. It's just not doing it for me. But I'll see you guys next week. Say hi. Say bye-bye, everybody. Say bye-bye.